It's Madden NFL 24, and the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Niners and the Rams, and it's all up next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Los Angeles Rams. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon back with you. And CD, you look at the NFC West this year, for a while there, this was the toughest division in football. That mantle's probably been passed on, but still, it's a division with a lot of intrigue coming into 2023. And you're right, the mantle may have been passed on, but I would not forget that this division, as you said, a lot of intrigue and a lot of fistfights as well because Los Angeles Rams, they're rebuilding. Seattle went to the playoffs last year. How about the 49ers? Doesn't matter who's playing quarterback, they are a tough out in Arizona starting to rebuild. SoFi Stadium. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. So here are the Rams set to go to work on offense. And they're led by a man who topped the 50,000 yard mark in passing for his career a season ago. In year 15 now, here's Matthew Stafford. Stafford, the Rams won it all in Super Bowl 56, but last season was a stark contrast to that. The Rams need their quarterback to recapture his form from two seasons ago to help spark another postseason run. Right to the air. Here's Stafford. Short throw. It's Higby. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Just the first quarter of a tackling going to be so important going forward. They've got to limit plays like that. And that's something when you see it happen early in the game and they don't get him on the ground, you can always tell that they were concerned about it going in. Because I can just tell you from my days, I remember being in college and wearing all off season about our season open opponent, and they had a receiver that could shake and bake with the best of them. I tackled him on the first pass of the game, and the relief was incredible. I ended up having a pretty decent ball game. But if I had missed him, it, <laughs> it would have been, been a different story. long night. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Stafford. And a quick throw there is incomplete. Ben Skoranek, the intended receiver. Third down here. To throw is Stafford. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. Javon Hargrave, the D tackle, getting the sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. So on fourth down, on is Ethan Evans to punt for the Rams. Ray Ray McLeod deep here for the Niners. And it's fielded at the 34. It's a 39-yard punt, three on the return. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. The Niners offense set to go to work, and it's last year's revelation, Brock Purdy, who leads them out in season number two from Iowa State. There weren't many bigger stories last season than Purdy, who's officially the most famous Mr. Relevant of all time. 
won each of his first five starts and almost guided his team to a Super Bowl. He's really forced the team to reevaluate his plans at quarterback because he looks like the real deal. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Now Samuel. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, now hang on here because he appears to be shaken up. While they come out and take a look at him, we will step aside for just a moment. Second and six. Purdy from the gun. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play with one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Here's the pro bowler, Christian McCaffrey. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now that's the type of play that will fire up the defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down and nine. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll get about three as he's brought down to the 28. The 22 is the line to gain here on third down. Now Purdy. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. And the defense coming through on third down. A loss of seven to bring up fourth. Even keeping the back end for extra protection on third down, they still couldn't prevent the sack. Now it's fourth and long thanks to a terrific individual effort on defense. Just wide of the upright, and this will remain a scoreless game. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, and other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's second down and seven. Now a play fake it at Stafford. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. So now Stafford and the Rams after the sack. Now they're staring up at a third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going to let one fly for Robinson. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Ethan Evans on now to punt. Oh, 
Here's McLeod on the return. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. So first and 10 now from the 30. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Oh, that's just not fair. And now room to run. And he's going to have a Niners first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Purdy to throw it on first down. Throw left side. McCaffrey's got it. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. So the completion results there in nine yards. And it'll bring up a second and short. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive linemen said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Here's Purdy on first and 10. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Jennings. It'll be a gain of just a yard and that's gonna bring up second down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tougher rule being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time lucky that the arm was going forward. Incomplete pass. Purdy with it on third and long. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That one will go down as 33 yards on the third down conversion. And that seemed to me to be all about trusting your receiver. No doubt about it, because when he put that ball in the air, I will guarantee you everyone who's watching this game right now thought, that's up for grabs. But this is a lot of practice time. As you mentioned, a ton of trust and he knows how good his guy is. So to him, it wasn't up for grabs. To him, it was a big play waiting to happen. On first down, Purdy. His pass caught at the four. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Here's second and two now from the three. Up the gut, McCaffrey. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. McCaffrey will score. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, he finishes off the drive with a touchdown run, Charles. Remember, he also had a catch on this drive as well. And that's what running backs want to be in today's NFL, a complete back. Three down, stay on the field, run it, and catch it. And he gets it done. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7 to nothing lead. That time, a nine-play drive. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. Jake 
So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Now it's Stafford. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Diamador Lenore. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. Ah, Brandon, this is a veteran quarterback back there. He should know better than to make a throw like this. This is definitely not his best ball, and I think he knew this was trouble the second it was leaving his hand. So the 49ers settling in for their next drive. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and 10. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Wait a second, they declined the penalty? I'm as puzzled as you are, partner. I don't understand how any time you lose possession of the ball, yet you turn down a penalty that would give you possession back. Now let's make this simple. Anyone who plays the game, take the football. Always take the football. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Now that's a big time run. Lightning in a bottle, forget it. He exploded out of the bottle for that type of a pickup. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 36. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Stafford's throw, it's complete into the hands of Higby. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's gonna be made at the 49ers, 19. Second catch for him today and it'll wind up a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. From the red zone now, Stafford. Touchdown! Ben Skoranek from 19 yards away. And the Rams are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Great corner route there, not only able to catch it, turn it upfield, and get into the end zone. It usually involves a little bit of an extra move, doesn't it? You've got to get them thinking that you're moving to the middle of the field, and you're breaking away to that corner. Boy, that was well executed. Brett Maher on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. They kick it away. Ray Ray McLeod to return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball as the defense gave up the points to Charles, but they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch partner for both of those units, and they kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. Second and 10.
Back to throw, Purdy. His throw incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. The throwing here, Purdy. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. Boy, that was certainly well-read defensively. And the key to any screenplay is space to work. And there was none to be found there. And they tackle it for just a short game. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. It's taken to the 26. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Rams will go on offense here with the first and 10. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now Stafford. That's caught left side. It's Higby, the tight end. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. On the counter, this is Akers. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter as they've got it with a second and 13 forthcoming. Going right back to Akers. Oh, he shifts past him. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 49 yards rushing for him now. He's only carried the ball four times. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. Meanwhile, Stafford's throw pulled in by Robinson here. And so close, he gets it to the run. Out of bounds right there. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here, and now they're set up with a first and goal. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Ben Skoranek with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Rams have taken the lead. So that Charles, his second touchdown of the ball game, he had the more standard receiving touchdown earlier. This time he finds the end zone in the run game. Yeah, it's almost as if he said, well, that's how I'd normally do it. That's almost boring. Give me another opportunity. This time I'll use my legs only and get into the end zone. Touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula that got them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. 
I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. Purdy with it on third and long. Got a man right side. It's McCaffrey. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. The defense was ready for the back to leak out and even had a second player waiting to double him up. If you're going to commit to doubling a back, you better prevent a completion, but give him credit. Extra determination, extra effort, turn it into a successful play. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Well, the offense trots back out, ready for this next drive. And there's the running back, Cam Akers. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because any time you have a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. Well, now he's looking just to add to his totals. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. But he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two's not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. The throw over the middle taken in. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Stafford going to give this to Akers. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. 57 yards rushing for him now. He's carried the ball just five times. A nice carry by Akers. And what a journey it was for him last season. Coming off of injury, away from the team for a while. He did come back later in the season and led them with almost 800 yards. Still scratching the surface of what he can do. He can be a dynamic presence on the field. On first down, they'll stay with Akers on the ground. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Okay, didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling him in the huddle right now. From the 32-yard line now, here's second down and a yard. They'll go again here with Akers, and he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Overall, I'd have to say that was just really good team defense because, to me, you can't pin that one on the running back. He had no shot there. He had a man in his face immediately. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Here's Stafford. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown. have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Mar on for the extra point. It's good, and it is now 21-7. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Following. 
throwing the touchdown. Here's Marr to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there. It was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series. But what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Here's Purdy. And that is incomplete here. The offense on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Purdy. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and they will take over first and 10. Cam Akers in the Rams offense ready to go back to work, and he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are in a ball game and how many yards they've accumulated because you know they're always working towards 100. He's been working well towards 100 here. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sip through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Stafford. He'll dump this off to Akers. So no gain on the play. Third and seven now. now. They couldn't get anything going there out on the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. Throwing on third down. Stafford. That is caught, and he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, things are definitely going right for them here in the first half. Pick a down, any down, even third down, no problem. They get a connection there and pick up a fresh set of downs, continuing to move the ball. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. On a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. 81 yards rushing for Akers, and this is a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense, and on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Now a first down throw, Stafford. And he's got this to Jefferson. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination looked pretty good. How about that? Let's see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Complete to the tight end, Higby. And the Rams are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. They'll run here with Akers. 
And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. Not a whole lot there after the penalty, but remember, it was first and five, not first and ten. So now they can keep grinding out first downs, and good things can happen for them. Just second and short coming up. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Akers again. And good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. They were held out last time. Here now is third and goal from the one. Akers diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. Well, nothing fancy there, Charles. You had three tight ends on the field. They were going to run the football. The defense knew it, but the defense couldn't stop them. And I haven't met an offensive line yet that doesn't get more satisfaction out of running the football into the end zone than pass protecting. They had determination on their side, and they got it done. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. Shotgun now with Purdy. And the Rams got it. They bring him down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance. They've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. Purdy now on second down. Connects with Kittle underneath. The Rams are going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So here's a third and 14. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's Mitch Wisnowski now. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. Set to go again. Here's Cam Akers in the L.A. offense. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. That's out to the flat for Akers. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now Stafford. Akers back-to-back -back catches. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 
Seven yards there at a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and ten, Stafford. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. And it's second down. Again, it's Stafford. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. And with apologies to Dylan Thomas, apparently they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. To throw is Stafford. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Here's Ethan Evans now. And this works out well as it'll kick out of bounds at the 11-yard line. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome, everyone, to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Rams got a nice throwback performance from their veteran quarterback, Matthew Stafford. His two touchdown passes helped pave the way for his guys to take this lead into the intermission. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And it appears we've got a member of the Rams shaken up on that last play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, they look up at the scoreboard facing that deficit. A three-score game, Charles, but look, there's plenty of time. And now off to the races, down the right side. The fullback comes through with a big play there. 47 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just help receivers find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. They go play action here, Purdy. That's caught by Werner, the tight end. The excellent play last time is followed by a much more routine gain of three. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, 
Boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. From the 25, here's a second and seven. Purdy looking to throw. And that one to the right side and incomplete. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. Ball oh, had his hands on it. Couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. And his kick is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Now the attention turns back to the Rams' offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. Stafford and the Rams come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. From the gun, here's Stafford. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted. And he is going to bring this back inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores. But, yeah, at least that's a start, Charles, getting the interception here. And look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception They've got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Purdy will set up to throw it here. That is incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Second down, here's Purdy to throw. That's caught by Debo Samuel. Touchdown, San Francisco. An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the 49ers take the forced turnover on defense and convert it into six points. Trying to make a comeback often appears daunting, but the only way to get there, start small, score, and worry about getting the next one after that. Now Moody for the PAT. And that one makes this an 11 point deficit now. Well, that drive started with not a whole lot of real estate in front of them in plus territory, excellent field position. Two plays later, Pay dirt. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and 10. 
They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And his throw is incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. He's got his man downfield. It's Robinson. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Stafford on first down. Has an open man, Skoranek. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time and another first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. From the 35, here's second and three. Jefferson moving in motion left. Now he's going to get it on the jet sweep. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Now they need two. Here's third down. Stafford now to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. Would have been a decently long field goal, 51 yards from here, but instead they're going to go for it. They snap it to Stafford. He's got his target. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. Fourth and two, they got it. That was kind of that gray area. Is that a feel thing, whether you go run or pass there offensively? I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. Got to make a decision, and they made the correct one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Van Jefferson was the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Now a play fake it at Stafford. And that's going to be incomplete. That incompletion certainly makes this upcoming third down a little bit more crucial. They need to find the right play to convert here and maybe start to tamp down a little bit of the momentum. The other side is starting to gain. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And that is incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. Maher able to put this one through. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But he did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them.
after the made field goal. Marr back out there to kick it away. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Debo Samuel and the 49ers back in possession here. Pretty good game for him so far. I guess he's still got time here to make this a great game, but so far, he's been solid. I like where you're going with that because it has been pretty good, but there's always that hint that things can really escalate for him. And right now, they, they feel like they're somewhat keeping him in check, but he has found the end zone once. But oh boy, he can explode at any moment. Yeah, when you hit that end zone once, you want to find it again, don't you? <laughs> yes, makes, you do. It makes get, you hungrier. You, you get greedy in a good way. Now second and nine. Here's Purdy. That's going to be caught by Samuel. That'll go for a gain of seven. And now two yards to go on third down. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Oh, able to avoid him. And he's going to have a Niners first down as the tackle made at about the 38. There's a lot of different formulas to winning football, but one constant over the years, winning on third down. That pickup there was big because they had struggled throughout this one. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Purdy. That's complete to the tight end runner. That's good. The completion there for seven yards, and it's second down. It's a gain of seven. Brings up second and three at the 45-yard line. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. Four yards the pickup, first down. Look, I realize on any play call, when it's properly executed, it can go for a touchdown. But the runs that really make it work are the ones where you just get what you need, right? And he barely got the first down, but he got it. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And that one blown up quickly, as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Purdy now to throw. Connects with Kittle underneath. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down, San Francisco. The pickup, 14 yards. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Purdy to throw it on first down. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he's taken down inside the 30. 11 yards for number 11. So what do you do if you've got a defense in cover three trying to keep everything in front of them? The answer seems obvious. Just work those routes in front of them. This is going to be a hitch route but he's operating in plenty of space, and he makes the catch here for a first down. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. From the 24 now, here's second and six. Throwing here, Purdy. Throw left side, complete. That's Mitchell. 
So give him two yards there on the completion. And now we've got a third and three. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On third down, here's Purdy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as he'll be marked down a yard or two past the marker following a gain of six. They've been moving the ball well, but this drive was in danger of stalling out. Fortunately, this is a nice throw here, and they're able to pick up a new set of downs. Back to the ground attack here. It's McCaffrey. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. And he's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. And they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. This is a critical sequence here for this offense. Things really haven't gone their way so far. This could be their chance to get back into it, but they've got to find a way to punch this ball in. From the two now, second and goal. Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the 49ers are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Boy, we talk a lot about Christian McCaffrey and what he can do in the open field, and it's easy to gloss over how tough he can be to stop near the goal line. And he shows you just how tough he is on that carry as he takes it into the end zone. Moody good with the extra point, and that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he stopped immediately there. Nick Bosa, Defensive Player of the Year, in on the tackle. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. On second down, here's Stafford. Short throw, it's Higby. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we've played three quarters. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This offense so far on third down, lacking much success, just two for seven to this point. This time it's third and three. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. It was third and short and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. A give up the middle to Akers. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, 
above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. Here's Stafford. This is caught by Robinson. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Give this to Akers running right. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down L.A. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. From the red zone now, Stafford. He'll find his man Skoranek over the middle. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Second down and three, ball on the seven. Now it's Stanford. And it's caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. They'll look to run with Akers. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Rams have opened up a two-touchdown lead here this fourth quarter. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Extra point by Barr, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. the touchdown. Here's Marr to kick it away. McLeod now on the return. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. That confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you score once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go around. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got a man complete. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk taking it in. And the Niners have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. 
No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. And I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big time strike. Big time strike. And you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Extra point try now for Moody. And that'll cut the lead down now to a touchdown. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was Brandon Ayu capping it off with a touchdown reception. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. Now the Rams offense getting the football back. Things sure were looking good for him at the half. Heck, off the air, you and I were just saying they might run away with this thing and cruise to a victory. Not anymore. Yeah, the cruise control has to be off at this point. Now you've got to mash the gas yourself. Again, who's going to step up and make a big play for you? Who's going to take care of business now that you're being pressed? It is definitely go time for them at this moment. All of a sudden clinging to a slim lead and hoping to hold on to that lead. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Stafford. Open man, he's got Jefferson across the formation. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. A five-yard pass on first down and another five-yard connection there. From the shotgun, here's a give to Akers. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Now a second and ten. Off the fake to Akers, here's Stafford. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Van Jefferson was the intended receiver. And it's third down. Out of the gun, Stafford. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 41-yard line. A really good pickup of 28 yards. Well, from an offense's perspective, that sure was pretty because the corner route is extremely difficult to defend from my perspective. What we just saw there, is that sort of the evolution of the tight end position? Yeah, I think it is because more and more, Tight ends are being treated like wide receivers. These are some agile players who can make a play in any spot on the field. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Second and nine. Now Stafford, complete, Jefferson the target. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The Rams on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This will be third and six. Throwing is Stafford. Going up top. And this is caught. He's got it. Touchdown, L.A. Cam Akers, 37 yards. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Well, that 
that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And the lead now up to 14. Well, things obviously not going their way. Trailing here in the fourth quarter, and that penalty going to go ahead and give the other side some extra yardage. We all know it's an intense game, and things can get heated out there. That's part of the battle. But bottom line, you got to keep your cool. That was not an example of doing that. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense now making their way out onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Purdy looking to throw. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far and brings up third down. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hoping they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Here's Purdy now on third and goal. And incomplete on the deep ball. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Rams get the football in outstanding field position. Well, apparently they weren't interested in playing the field position game. They opt to keep their offense out there. A big mistake in hindsight. Yeah, that one backfired in hindsight's always 20-20, but let's call it what it was. We would have first guessed that one and said, don't do it here. Bad situation. I think they need to be closer to midfield before I would start to think it was a good idea. Yeah. And once you start taking risks like that, you're going to have to keep taking them throughout the game, especially when they don't work. Yeah, at this stage of the second half, interesting. From the 22 now, here's second down and seven. Stafford now to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Some might say that he's got looked at in and absorbed the contact, but even at his size, that's a tough throw to hold on to. He was unable to on that attempt. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. They'll run out of the gun with Akers. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. 111 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. But sometimes, Brandon, there's just not a secret to how things get done. He's been running well all game long, and they continue to rely on him in this key situation. They told us they were going to rely on him. They have. He comes through there a big third down conversion. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. Now that's to the left sideline and incomplete. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. Yeah, 
Here's second and ten. Stafford to the right. And the ball is knocked out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. Following the fumble recovery, Purdy. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. A couple touchdown passes, almost threw his first interception, but he's throwing it so well that I think Lady Luck was on his side. Purdy to throw again on second and ten. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. Brings it just past the 15, able to avoid the initial contact, but not much more there on the play. They get six, that'll leave them with third and four. In this situation, the dictation is coming from the defense, right? They're gonna tell you, you can have six, seven yards, do that all the way downfield. Let's just go ahead and take the time off the clock. I think they've gotta start attacking vertically a lot more. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Purdy. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Had an open man that time, man. to put a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, Purdy. Buying time to his left. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is he analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball, and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. Back to Debo Samuel for consecutive catches. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. Brings up second and three at the 20-yard line. Here's second down and three. Here's Purdy to throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. 
Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. The ball on the 16 for second and 10. Throwing, Purdy. And a little floater there is incomplete. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. And now a tough spot here. This is third and ten. Here's Purdy. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Purdy, big fourth down play. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and this long drive is going to wind up yielding nothing. Well, they had to take one final shot at the end zone, but now things are looking really bleak. And I agree with that totally. You had to take the shot if they did score. You know, whether you call it a miracle or not, you line up, onside kick, get the ball back, throw one more in the end zone, who knows? Had to take the chance, it just was unsuccessful. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Here's third and ten. Going right back to Akers. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Here comes the Rams punter now, standing just outside his own goal line. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. Yeah, call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. So Purdy and the Niners down by two touchdowns, a little under 40 seconds to go. It's a tall order, but they do begin with decent field position on first down. the sack oh you can just see it in their body language they're starting to see victory on the horizon now and if it comes to fruition they gotta give a game ball to the front seven defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense and they've done so with ease now one final throw here is incomplete and that is how this one will come to an end well, this was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visit it. And with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory. Even better for them.